Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Though planes, trains, and automobiles have long since changed the face of travel and movements of goods, ships remain the reliable means for moving large amounts of materials from one side of the globe to another. As global trade grows, so are the size of the maritime transport vessels. The HMM Algeciras is one of the world's largest container ships today, with 24,000 20-foot equivalent units, or TEU capacity. It's also considered one of the most technologically advanced container ships in the world. The Panama-flagged vessel is not only massive in size, but also in weight, with a maximum gross tonnage of about 232,000. With a weight like that, navigating high seas may be easy, but not so with negotiating tight situations like crowded ports, shallow waters, and narrow canals. Then arises the need for a very uncommon helper known as the tugboat. Tugboats have been around since the early 1800s. These sheepdogs of the ocean play a major role as they help in towing, pushing, and guiding larger vessels in their difficult moments. Though considerably small in size, they pack enough power to move vessels 1,000 times their size and weight. Some tugboat engines produce up to 12,336 horsepower, with propellers measuring 13 feet in diameter. These huge propellers sit low in the water where they can produce maximum thrust and maneuverability. Though most of it is below water, the whole design of a tugboat is very bulbous. This causes the bottom of the ship to ride low, maximizing water displacement. This type of design helps generate friction, which increases the efficiency with which tugboats can pull or push other vessels. Tugboats also have an absolutely massive power to weight ratio. This means that the engines are extremely powerful for their size. This power of pulling is usually rated using bollard pull. So how do tugboats use these powerful engines and winch systems to move a much larger vessel? For pulling, the tugboat will first attach towing lines to the vessel. Most tugboats have a powerful winch system that can be used to alter the length of the lines as needed. The powerful engine and winch system helps pull the larger vessel in the intended direction. In canals and small rivers, a tug will stay behind the ship using the two mooring lines to maneuver it past obstacles and through traffic until it reaches the open sea. But while tugs are often thought of as only towing vessels, they are just as likely to help steer a vessel moving under its own power. Also known as a pusher, this kind of tugboat is designed to push ships to their docking position.
Usually deployed in harbors, these tugs are designed with cushioned bows so as not to damage their ship. There are many different technologies that have a role in tugboat design or propulsion solutions. With respect to the propulsion layout, hybrid solutions and dual fuel solutions, for example LNG-based, are more and more accepted in the tugboat market because these technologies seamlessly connect to the operating profile of a tug. Due to their versatility, tugboats are now being used for a much wider array of jobs. This has led to a surge in tugboat construction, as well as a bevy of new designs and innovations. Indeed, electric tugs are now becoming a common sight in the port of Tuzla in Turkey, where they are able to handle the same jobs as their diesel-powered counterparts. To make the connection between the tow line to an assisted vessel safer and more efficient, drone technology with object recognition software has recently been developed by a Dutch company called Kotug. This drone helps fasten the tow ropes from the tugboats to the ships, thereby reducing the risks involved in manual handling. The largest of all the tugboats are offshore tugs. These are extremely powerful, long-range vessels that can be put to use for a vast array of applications far from land. For instance, many Coast Guards employ offshore rescue tugs, which can provide emergency services to vessels in distress all over the world. These unique ships are often constructed with large cranes, high-powered winches, and plenty of onboard facilities for taking care of any injured passengers. Though larger, offshore tugs do not boast quite as high a power to tonnage ratio. However, they are utterly invaluable to a wide range of industries, especially oil and gas. Among their many duties, these ships are tasked with moving oil rigs, construction barges, and other large seaborne structures. They can also aid in the delivery of food, water, and fuel, or the retrieval of ocean debris, including entire ships. In 1996, a team of offshore tugs participated in moving the tallest and heaviest object ever transported over water. At the time, the structure known as Troll A was the largest offshore natural gas drilling platform ever made. The platform was far too large to be assembled at the sea, so construction took place inside a Norwegian village some 120 miles away from where it was intended to be placed. Once assembled, the platform's four concrete legs were lowered into the water, while the rig itself was maneuvered on top. A total of 10 offshore tugs were used to move the 1.2 million ton platform to the drilling site, a journey that took a full seven days, which set several world records. There is simply no overestimating the influence that tugboats have had on global commerce and transportation. They truly are, and will remain, the backbone of the shipping industry. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.